Warning, Viva La Rani is brought to you by the same guy who your girlfriend is messaging. The show is intended for real ones only. The show is not suitable for children or soft ass adults. Now that we got that out of the way, wash your hands, drink responsibly, and as always, Viva La Rani. And what it do, babies? Welcome back to Viva La Rani. Thank you as always to um, Zach and my guy, Ryan. Thank you, Broken Color, for that special song, man. I uh, love that song, man. Thank you for the entrance music. As always, uh, thank you, Ben, man, for that uh, entrance. Uh, I mean, it's perfect. What do you want? And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm joined today by the sensei, okay? Uh, Joe Sterdamas, okay? Joey Karate. Joey, how are you, brother? Man, I am doing awesome, brother, and it's a pleasure to be here, as always. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything you do for me, man. You know it. Um, I'm also joined by Weavy, Rob Rob, Pop Up, Big Dick Steve. Thank you, Steve, for coming on. <laughs> what it do, baby? I appreciate that intro. Good, sir. <laughs> Steve O'Canivo, man. What else do you want, man? Golly. Steve O'Wan Kenobi. And the force is strong with him. I feel it. I feel it. And um, well, let's just jump right into it. Like I jumped into your baby mama. Um, let's do. Oh, the Cowboys won this past week, man. They beat the fucking Eagles. I mean, outright. I think the score was 41 to 14, boys. And uh, it was just a fucking good game. Finally, the Cowboys look to be the real deal this year. I'm not sure. Karate, what do you think, brother? I think it's looking good, man. Like I was saying, especially after that Buccaneers game, if they play with that intensity, and it looks like they've been keeping that up, man. Yeah. They're looking right, and uh, I'm feeling good, man. I'm ready to see what happens on the next one for sure. Absolutely. And um, keep continuing this train of football, baby. How about the Longhorns? They won today, didn't they, Joey? Oh, they sure did, brother. Early. Yes, sir. I didn't catch the game, but I just know that the Longhorns took care of business because of you, Karate. You let me know that, and uh, that's always a good day, huh? Yes, sir. It's always a good day, man, for sure. It's another uh, light sh shined on Texas, you know? Yes, sir. And... Um, I went to go pick you up today, Karate, because, you know, I, I needed you because you're the maestro. You're just the, you're the puppet master and I'm the puppet. Okay, I'm Kermit the Frog. I'm Elmo. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> and, man, you know, I appreciate you, man. But anyway, so I picked you up, Karate. And as always, you know, you usually stop at a gas station. And I asked you, I said, Joe, do you want to? You want to stop by the gas station? You need more gas, Bob? Yeah, yeah. And um, we met probably Walt, Robin Williams in woman form. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fucking. <laughs> I mean, she was fucking everything. Jim Carrey, if she was, if he was a woman, it was really weird. And it reminded me of myself because I do voices because I'm a fucking weirdo. And to hear her do voices was really fucking weird. It was almost like, um, have you seen that movie Split? Y'all seen that movie Split, huh? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And fucking um, James, uh, what is it, McAvoy, right? I think yeah, that's his McAvoy. name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he fucking, remember, he's like schizophrenic almost or whatever. He has all those personalities. Mm -hmm. That's what happened, okay? I was in line, and the lady goes, uh, I don't fucking remember what she said, Karate. She was what fucking did, weird, dog. What, what was the... Give me an example of like how many did she do? She y'all said she had like several. Yeah, several I think like voices. yeah, I think four or five personalities. She said, "I cannot ring this up," and then I said, "What the <laughs> fuck?" <laughs> and she goes, "Oh, okay, here it is. This barcode right here just cannot be scanned." <laughs> and then I said, "What the fuck?" And I think she spoke Spanish for a little while, but not Mexican Spanish. Probably like some fucking. I don't know, fucking Puerto Rican Spanish. I don't know what the fuck happened. It, it, she blew my fucking mind, daddy. And I was like, sheesh. Very talented woman. To picture this woman, if y'all played Apex Legends, go ahead and Google that right now. I'm going to give you time. And R. 
R.I.P. Uh, Alex Trebek. But anyways, uh, look up Wraith, right? That fucking girl, she looked just like her karate. True or false? <laughs> That's spot on. True or false? Okay, she looked like Wraith. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, now I'm kind of upset I didn't come up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I, I thought I had that R99 on me. I was yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was happening, bro? It was hella fucking weird. Devotion. She had a rampage and everything, man. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just fucking freaked me out, but in a good way, because I don't think I ever heard that. But she was so fucking comfortable to be able to fucking do all those voices. I love shit like that, man. Maybe she was practicing on y'all. Yeah, maybe she's like a voice actress and she's fucking just practicing, you know? She's like, oh, fuck this job. I don't really give a fuck about this job. You know? Let me <laughs> yeah. fuck these maybe, people up. And for all we know, maybe she was just bored. She was like, I'm going to mess with these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She probably customers. lost her mind. Working at a 7-Eleven. <laughs> Shout out 7-Eleven. Oh, yeah. And then it came out to be 17-Eleven. And she goes, all right, that's going to be 17-Eleven. And then she goes, oh, man, it was almost 7-Eleven. Literally in yeah, that voice. Like, she voice. switched fast, boy. It was <laughs> Is this the one near your house? No, no, right here, right here. Yeah, near yeah, our, our place. Place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It fucked me up. I was like, sheesh. Yeah, because usually we'll be able to conversate, you know, and yeah. type it even more, but it yeah. was just like, just amazed at what was happening. I couldn't keep like, up. This? Yeah, I was you like, were in awe. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Yeah. So I need to go check out the 7-Eleven. Right, right, right. She's, she's the wizard of all, you know, because she just surprised the fuck out of me. But shout out to her. I didn't even look at her fucking name. She probably wasn't real. Probably a figment of our imaginations. We're probably high. You probably stole it instead of paid for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I fucking went on a red light today. I, I thought it was like a four-way stop. I have karate. We're talking about something. <laughs> yeah. We're and about that's why I think she probably was a figure of my imagination because I, I just fucked up today. I, I just I put, hit the brakes and then I saw I looked to the right and the left like a fucking dumbass. And all four cars were stopped, so I just went, oh, okay, I'm going to go. And then I, as soon as I passed, I said, Karate, I think I fucking just passed the red <laughs> light, man. And, you know, but hey, it man, is what you it are is. living. You are living, baby. <laughs> but hey, man, fuck it, man. You know, it's October and everybody's a little scurry around this time, baby. And, you know, people fuck up. My bad. And just to keep from crying, I laughed. When you said it was over, you said, anyway, anyway, <laughs> anyways. Um, but anyway, she would have been good in a, in a movie. She needs her own movie, man. And speaking of movies, man, I fucking watched Venom yesterday, Karate. How'd it go, man? <sighs> and me and Steve-O and, you know, a few other people, man. And, and it was, um, it was dog water. Steve-O, what's your thoughts, brother? You know, Steve man, o. like after we all left, I, I was so conflicted. Even this morning, I woke up and was still like, "What happened?" Mm -hmm. Like this was something that should have blew me away. Yeah, because right, when it was announced, right? It was right. Like, hey, yeah. yeah, carnage, carnage. Yeah. carnage? Right, right, right. This is a huge villain. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, me just like seeing this, I, I was already going in with low expectations because. Right. I, I saw the runtime, which was like an hour and a half, and I was like, ooh, that's, I mean, that's not too, like, scary, but it could be. So I was like, uh, I'm not digging that. This is going to feel super rushed. And when I saw the movie, it went into hyperdrive. So many things were happening so fast. That's where some things even, like, make sense. Yeah. So, like, they were just, like, popping up to different places. Like, how'd they get there? It was an easy fix for everything. It was too convenient of a fucking movie, and I hated it, man. Uh, one score Everybody knows the rules uh, I gave it a 5.4 At first I gave it a 6.1 I'm not gonna lie Listen I'm not gonna lie to y'all Okay But I thought about it more And I had to change the score Because it, I just couldn't do it I and wanted I wanted to love it Yeah me too I man I wanted to love it so bad Me too Ooh. Me too but brother then, <laughs> But just I couldn't lie to myself either I was like man this is This isn't a movie that I could like want to rewatch over and over and recommend it yeah and recommend it i i i'd say I'm, i don't i don't know i might be pushing it i say maybe go see it if you yeah. watch superhero movies yeah. i recommend it cuz the ending is important no spoilers right i uh, definitely stay after the mid credit scene you will be get ready for that i i'd pay i think 6 dollars for that movie you know i wish i wanted to pay 14 but um, I spent $14 on dumber shit But that was 
if they were giving the money back outside, I'd definitely take it. You know what I mean? Because it was, it was really bad, man. 5.4, man. Fuck. You hate to see it. You want to talk about carnage. That movie is nothing but carnage. That shit is dog water. That shit is bad, Joy. Don't, yeah, it's bad. Um, but yeah, that post credit scene really made up for it, man. No spoilers. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm spoiler <laughs> free. I don't, I don't want to say. Shout out nothing. Justin, though. Justin? Your boy Justin. Shout out. Oh, my God. Okay, people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And PSA. I PSA, got yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, PSA announcement yeah, yeah. right now. Yeah. So, okay. Especially with. It doesn't even have to be MCU. It mm-hmm. could be any movie. Mm-hmm. If people have not seen it and they want to go see this damn movie, do not get on social media and write about it. Don't get on Snapchat. Right. Do a video of spoilers. You're going to piss people off. Look, I'm sorry you got screwed over yep. and got it spoiled for you, but don't be doing it to other people as well. Yeah. I had to, I, I got to stay off social media. Right. I, I was on Snapchat and someone posted mm-hmm. the mid scene for Venom 2, and I had to yeah. swipe out of it real yeah, quick because yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, what is this? Because it was too dark. And I was like, oh no. And then I saw something and I was like, I think I just got somewhat spoiled in what's to yep. come. So, damn you. Yeah. Damn you. Yeah, just don't do that, man. I felt like I got the same way on a few of these episodes of the What If the right. Marvel, because I was watching YouTube and I'll scroll through because I've been looking oh, yeah. up, you know, different, uh, the lore behind some of these characters mm-hmm. is really cool. And yeah, they'll suggest some stuff going off of the uh, What If, and I'm like, no, and I have to like, right. YouTube, you know what I mean? Because the algorithm has this. Yeah, it's. YouTube and all that has to chill, man. I mean, fuck me, man. Like, to spoil something like that, especially Venom, it don't matter if it was trash. It's still a movie, man, and and we still want to go critique it for ourselves, and we want to experience it, man. So don't ruin it, dog. Golly, you hate to see it, man. You hate to see it. But moving off that trash ass movie, do what you want, <laughs> man. Do what you want. If you want to go see it, please go see it. It's funny and keep the movies alive. I think it's gonna break break uh, box office records, like I said, uh, Steve and Karate, man. I, like I said, man. I do think, think. Do you think it's better than the first one? <sighs> like barely. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just a little bit better, too. Yeah, because, I mean, Woody Harrelson's Woody Harrelson. Um, he, he he worked with what he got, you know? Yeah, he tried, I guess. <laughs> but, you know, it's just like... Eh. And Andy Serkis was fucking directing it. He has no fucking business doing that. He needs to go back to being Caesar and fucking Gollum. Gollum. Yeah, yeah. And- I bless us. The face oh, ass. No. Yeah, I mean that was a precious piece of shit. That shit was trash, but still, shout out Andy Serkis, regardless. Yeah, <laughs> the goat. Yeah, he's a, he's a good actor. He's just not a good director. I don't know what the fuck he was doing, you know, he, even anywhere near that. He needs to stay on camera, and that's rare, you know. But he really needs to stay on camera. He don't need to be behind the scenes, dog. He kills it on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, that's enough, man. And so, yeah, that brought me back to, to, to what if. Me and, me and uh, Steve-O uh, did a reaction video to that one today, uh, to the last one um, where Vision wins. And no spoilers there either, but please go check that out, man. You won't regret it. Ultron. Yeah, Ultron, excuse me. Ultron, yeah. What if Ultron wins? And Inglorious, Inglorious Watchers. Yeah, the Inglorious Watchers. Be looking out for that, man. Um, also, um, just just... That whole series overall, I gave it like an eight four, eight five, man. I think I love that fucking series, man. And for it to be in cartoon form, that's badass. They did a great job, and they're finally giving DC a run for its money on 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 cartoons. Just with that alone, at least it's there to compete. I'm not. They're nowhere near fucking DC on cartoons. Nowhere near. But that's a great start, man. That's a good start, and uh, I'm really looking forward to what Marvel produces, man. Sure. And um. I'm excited. I'm excited, baby. But uh, that's enough of that. Please go check that out, Daddy. Uh, we're finally in October, boys. Finally in October. Okay. Spooky season. It's spooky season. Uh, boot up season. Shout out, LMA. Maybe mm-hmm. body. Boot up. Maybe body. Boot up. But anyways. Time right, for the pumpkin spice to be coming out. Yes, know? sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Pumpkins and blumpkins. That's what they say, I think. I don't even know what a blumpkin is. I think. Well, yeah, I do. I do. I do. I, I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, That was out of pocket. I'm sorry for the kids that are listening. Um, <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, scary, scary, scary. And uh, I want to share with y'all a story, man. 
Okay, kids gather around the candle, and um, I'm gonna take you back to 1999. No, I don't know what year it was. I think it was probably my sister was gone already. She had graduated. I, I say 2010. And me and my grandma were home alone. And my grandma's a witch, dog. I mean, she she was up to no good. Uh, not a witch, you know, but she was up to no good. She could do paranormal shit, man. It was really creepy. And so there was this one story that I want to share with the kids, man. And so this one time, <laughs> it was like really windy outside, man. Really windy. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. But my grandma always had chimes. And this is the first time I ever told this story, but this is crazy. It, well, not. It's up to you. You judge it. I don't give a fuck. So the wind chimes were always like blowing, baby. You always heard it, right? And it was always loud outside. My grandma didn't like the quiet. That's why she yelled at us. But anyways, um, so she <laughs> and threw shit at us. But hey, that's enough. And so she. One time, okay. So one time we're watching telenovelas, you know. So shout out Univision and all that. Shout out them mm. them shows, baby. And but the TV turned off, right? Just for a split second. I think everything turned off for a split second. And the wind chimes were silent, but it was windy as fuck outside. That was the most traumatizing part I remember. And we heard a knock on the door. Kids just sounded a little something like this here. And I go, what the fuck? It was four knocks. I'll never forget it. And I went to go open the door. And my grandma goes, hey, hey, don't don't open the door. And I said, uh, okay, the fuck? And I don't know where my tia was at this time, but probably out drinking margaritas or something, getting drunk. You know, she's an alcoholic. Um, shout out to my tia, though. But anyways, and living with my grandma, fuck, that's probably why I'm an alcoholic too now. But anyways, so she the 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 the, the now, now it's like 11:40. I want to say like almost 12, man. And I go to open the door, and my grandma says, yes, you know, don't do it. Reconsider, read some letters. And so I turn around, and my grandma goes, don't open that door, man. And so I, she goes, come sit down. And so I went to go sit back down and I remember I had a German shepherd nacho and he was there and he like whimpered away, man. It was scary. And he's never. Yeah. Been he, like this fuck no. Man, right? My dog was a G Damn. and he was scared. And not, now it's it's kind of getting hot. Still windy outside. Still windy outside, man. And then my grandma said, watch, be quiet. And then I could hear like murmuring, baby, like almost like, uh, I don't know, kind of like a, like, you're like, seriously, man, what? outside. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, remember, kids, the time was 1140 and it felt like maybe five minutes passed. And then my grandma stood up and she was a lazy, big old woman, man. I'm talking about 350 pounds, baby, on a good day. And so then she just started screaming, like cussing. And she was saying, motherfucker, get out of here, blah, blah, blah. And the door swings open. Door swings open, man. And then the wind chimes start chiming. And then uh, I was like, what the fuck? Nacho runs in the back, man, back of the house. He wasn't even fucking with that. And now I'm scared. Now I'm terrified. And my grandma goes, close the door. And then she said, you're not welcomed here. And then I looked up at the clock and it was 110, man. And I sat back down. My grandma said that it was the devil knocking on the door and that we needed to pray. So I went around the house with her and she blessed the whole house. And that was scary. That was a scary Jeez. time. That was a scary time, man. But that was kind of <laughs> shit. That was the kind of shit that happened, man, with with my DJ Granny, man. Shout out, you know. Crazy shit used to happen like that all the time, man. I remember one time she was talking shit about my grandpa. And she hated him, but she had nine kids with him. But that's another story. And... um. Yeah, man. So she was talking shit about him. And then again... uh. She was like in the middle of her tantrum and then the fucking picture of him falls to her feet and then she goes, Okay, I got it. I got it. And then she just picks him up gently and puts it back on the on the wall. And then she said, That's why you need to be careful with the dead. 
And so I'll never forget that. I'll Golly never forget that, damn. man. But I got more stories, but I'll do that next week, hopefully. I'll tell y'all some more stories, man. But that's, you know, go ahead, Steve. Can I tell y'all a quick one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go um, ahead. It reminded me when he said, when Ronnie was talking about, like, the devil, like how crazy stuff was happening. I don't, I'm not going to say this was the devil either. But I don't know for all the people who have dealt with sleep paralysis before. And... It can be backed up by science. Some people think it's, you know, a... Uh, Stress and shit or what? What do they say? Or Steve? just it's... It can be an out of... You know... What is it? I'm trying to like think. Like an out-of-body experience? Not out-of-body. Like something from another... A realm? <laughs> not, not another realm. Like something yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, like a consciousness almost. Like an out-of-consciousness kind of thing. No, what, no, what's no. going on here? Okay. Well, here's what happened. Yeah. I, uh, like sleep, sleep paralysis, yes. Mm -hmm. you. It's a point where your body wakes up, but your brain stays asleep. Mm. I think I said that right. Your bo you, tell your me body, that again. Your, yeah, your body wakes up, but your brain like still thinks you're asleep. Oh, yeah. So I've had this happen to me a handful of times. Mm. I haven't had it happen a whole lot. But the, Thank God. the second time was Knock the scariest. Wood. Yeah. This shit sucks. The second time was the scariest one for me, and because when it first happened, it, it scared me because I didn't know what was going on. Mm -hmm. But once it was over, I was like, "Whoa, what was that?" And I started looking it up, and I found sleep paralysis, and I was like, "That was crazy. I didn't know that could happen." And then uh, the second time, I was like, I was think I was like 15, 16 years old, and mm -hmm. I was at my my parents' house, and I was the only one at the house. And I remember I was watching TV and I was starting to, I was on my couch laying down and I was starting to kind of get into a slumber like state. I was getting sleepy. And I remember I, I pass out and then I don't know how many hours passed or if it was minutes or what, but like at some point I, I woke up and I got that feeling of like, Oh no, not this again. Cause right. when you, when you go through it, you're like, ah, oh, you can't, you can't do anything. You can't can't get up you can't talk you can't scream mm. you can you can barely you can barely move mm -hmm. so you're just kind of sitting there just waiting for this or sitting or laying there just waiting for this to pass well the second time this happened i felt something slither over my couch right and i uh heard this like evil like voice mm -hmm. where it was going ah, it it was doing, <laughs> yeah, it was yeah, doing yeah. that dude. yeah I'm yeah yeah and I felt it come over me, like it came over my couch onto me. It's, I don't know if it was like Latin or yeah. what, but I remember as soon as I felt this, I felt like it was an evil presence. I right. Like this is what the Not heck right. is going on. Right, 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 right. And so when that when that happened, I remember I started kind of freaking out, and I started like trying to rock myself off the couch, and it felt like it was pinning me like down. Yeah, like it, yeah. Like it had its it was put like there was pressure on like the t top uh, top part of my body yeah yeah and so I, I i'm and at this point i'm trying anything like i don't know what's going on i'm scared to death so i start like like i said trying to rock off the couch i mm -hmm. can't do that i'm trying to scream i'm trying to like do anything and then it came to the point where i was like i'm just gonna pray like i started that's it baby i said hey in god's name whatever this thing is i say in your son's name jesus get this away from me yeah yeah amen and, and then like amen I prayed that a couple times and then I said amen and then maybe like a few seconds later it just disappeared and I remember once it like was lifted I went <gasps> yeah like I was yeah. like like I, I felt like I couldn't breathe and I felt like I, I got you know oxygen back and like mm -hmm. it was it scared the crap out of me I've never had that experience ever thank god it was super weird and yeah. then I remember I told one of my buddies at work what happened and his dad's a preacher and he goes, dude, you know what you need to do, right? I said, no. He goes, you need to open up every door and window in your house and say, and go to every room and say, you don't belong here. And he told me to go. And it was so scary. I was like, I'll do it. Like, let's go right now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And we did that. I opened up all the windows and doors in my house. And I went to each room. And I said, leave. You're not welcomed here. You know, Jesus name, all that. And I remember like, and nothing ever happened again. I don't know if it was just me tripping out right but a few more times that i had sleep paralysis it wasn't nothing evil like that and that was terrifying yeah fuck that man fuck that daddy yeah, that's intense bro 
Uh, all right, I'm gonna give the kids one more. I know I said I wasn't, gonna <laughs> it, but I got so many, man. Yeah, and, I do too. Yeah, one of my favorites. Well, no, it's not my favorite, <laughs> but but one of one of the ones that stays with me. I was about I don't know, maybe twelve or eleven. I can't remember. And I was camping out, kids, and I'm doing air quotes right now. Yaga, Yaga. And I was just sleeping in the hallway, and I had pissed my grandma off. And she looked at me very seriously in my eyes, and she said, I hope the devil grabs you by the feet, boy, and drags you. And then I said, <laughs> oh, no. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, oh, okay. I love you. And then I went to sleep crying. No, I, I said, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, whatever. Shut up. And so I went to sleep that night, not thinking, not really caring, you know. And I remember... Uh, I remember waking up and uh, seeing like this black figure, hooded figure, man, with no arms or nothing. And I just remember my feet being dragged and I was screaming, man, like like I couldn't scream or nothing. Like no one could ever hear me. And I was shaking and crying. And then finally, my grandma goes, what the fuck? Shut up. Shut up. We're trying to sleep. And then I say, oh, my God, you finally heard me. And then I, t I described it to her. And then she goes, yeah, I know. I told you that was going to happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then she was like, don't ever disrespect me again, boy. And I was like, yeah, you're right, man. And I think I continue to disrespect her over the years just because, you know, fuck it. I think I got heavier and I don't think, you know. You wanted to test the powers. Of the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Protecting yourself, getting yeah. heavier. Yeah, after I I gained two hundred pounds, that never happened again. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, thank God that never happened again, man. That scared the shit out of me, baby. But those are good times with my grandma, man. No, those are horrible times. Those are scary. But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. And to stay with that scary thing, man, because it's October, boys. It's October. The jack o' lanterns out, and people are getting frisky, baby. I want to talk about every year, baby. Fright Fest is on AMC, and I love Fright Fest. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, they show all the greatest, hit, all the greatest hits, uh, like Halloween and all that shit, dog. And I just fucking love it. Today, I'm gonna want. I want to do the top ten scary movies, man. Let's go. And so I already looked them up, man. On Rotten Tomatoes, shout out. Shout out Ron Tomatoes. Out. Number one is go ahead and guess. What's number one? Or should I go to ten? Let's do ten first. Let's go yeah, 10. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ten. And so here it is. The top ten scary stories as told to you by Ron Tomatoes. Number ten is it, twenty seventeen. So shout out, shout out it, number shout ten. Out it. Okay. Uh Pennywise. And uh, he killed many guys, baby, and you love to see it. It was a good, sh good movie. I, I, I think I prefer. Now, if we're talking about scary, yeah, number ten, I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, the the second it, which is I, I don't mean the actual second one. I I mean the rebooted series, right? In in twenty seventeen, like I said, uh, that one was really good. I think yeah, Ben Skarsgård yeah. hit it out the fucking park oh, playing yeah. Pennywise, right? Yeah, super crazy. And um. And it was way scarier than the first one. I think the first one I found funny. I was, and I hated it. You thought the first one was less scary? Yeah, I hated everyone being scared of that movie. I loved Tim Curry's uh, fucking... Oh, it was just oh. a bully in paint. I thought you were talking about the 2017. No, 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 no. Dude, yeah, the the Tim Curry one, that one's classic. <laughs> yeah. That, that shit was... Yeah, yeah. When I saw it when I was a little kid, yeah, and I was yeah. terrified. Oh, I was scared, okay. I was scared to take a shower almost because of that damn movie. He'll come up in the drain. So. Heck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my favorite part about Tim Curry's... Uh, uh, Pennywise is when he goes he said hey belly boy and then he goes this one's for you and he's in the grave and he goes uh huh uh huh uh huh and he's fucking humping the the fucking uh, little balcony man like come on he man said, kiss me fat boy yeah hey come on and kiss me fat boy <laughs> I mean that's just funny That's just, he's just a fucking bully ain't nothing scary about that I mean, to me, to me, to me, I, I, and I loved his aesthetic. I love the way he dressed that purple and blue, the green. I mean, it's just iconic. Right. And, but don't get me wrong. If I see that motherfucker pulled over on the side of the road at 12 midnight, I'm sticking. Hell you know no. what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell no. I will run his ass over. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, and you imagine he has the balloon too, boys. 
and he's giving you a little wave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my goodness. Shit, yeah. not okay. No, not okay. Tis the season, but not okay. Tis the season for the creeping, baby. But, yeah, number 10, uh, uh, it, 2017. And I'm going to let y'all guess these, man. I should have let y'all guess that one. But number nine, man, which one? What do y'all think, man? Scary movies. Just think about them. Scary movies, number nine. Number nine? Yes, sir. And these are these are all, all time updated. Oh, all time. All time. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm give y'all. I want I want one each. Go ahead, I'll, Steve. I'll say, I'll say Jaws. Okay, Karate. I'm gonna say uh, Conjuring. Oh, close. One of y'all is very close. Number nine is Insidious. I was gonna- oh, 2010, dog. You know what I, I mean? Oh. It's that priest, man. That priest guy is in that motherfucker from the Conjuring, man. His name's James Wan, baby. Has already shown up on high on the list. Oh, before he and Patrick Wilson made the conjuring. So there it is, man. Insidious number nine, baby. Insidious was creepy guy. as hell. I, I never seen that movie. I don't think I want to see shit like that. But hey, man, you know, it, when it's October, I'm down to watch scary shit, baby. But just October. Uh, number eight, man. Uh, go ahead, boys. This I'll, I'll give you all the date, uh, the year. How about that? Okay. 2012, yeah, number eight. 2012. It came out in 2012, boys. The movie 2012. Bye. Uh, <laughs> 2012. I want to say the year was scarier than the fucking movie. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Don't lie. Number eight. Uh, one each. Karate, you got one for me? 2012. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man. Um, we almost died. I'm gonna say Michael Meyer reboot. I don't know. I don't okay. Know. One, uh, what's his name directed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, fuckface. What's fuckfaces? Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie. I hate Rob Zombie. So that wasn't really that scary. Yeah. That's no. What you, that's what you're going with. That's what he's going with. I can't think of anything else right now. You karate. Oh, um, 12, that's a good guess. 12. That's tough, man. I think I'm gonna have to try a reboot too. I think the Nightmare on Elm Street. No, it was Sinister number A, Daddy. Uh, sinister. Yeah, Sinister's really good too. I don't know what year that came out. You yeah. Know, sinister? Oh, it's what good. happened in Sinister? I don't remember that movie. Uh, let me let me see. Uh, this I is recognize it. This is from. Uh, um, Ron Tomatoes, remember that. So, for those who didn't read the scientific study mentioned at the top, we finally come to the film. Uh, to the film, it crowned the scariest before he joined the MCU with 2016. Doctor Strange director Scott Derrickson had racked up a, a few horror films, a couple of which earned cult followings. Let me see. What the fuck, man? Who cares? Okay, here it is. Um, Ethan Hawke moves in with his wife and kids into a house where a family was murdered only to discover the new place might already have a rather evil tenant. Writer uh, C. Robert, whatever, Carhill was reportedly inspired to pen the script based on a nightmare he had after watching The Rain Kids. And the story does share a minor similarity with that film. So something like uh, fucking um, The Rain, man. Hmm. I don't think I've seen Sinister. I don't think I have. Either. You have karate, so you I don't like think it? So I've seen a little bit of it, but it's pretty trippy. Okay, number seven, boys. We're moving on. Number seven. This movie came out in 1978. Hell of a year. Hell of a year, 78. It's not The Exorcism. No. Of, I think or The no. Exorcist. Uh uh-uh. uh. The wanna, Exorcist in the 70s? Yeah. I want to go with like Day of the Dead or Dawn of the Dead. I was I was thinking like zombies too. I feel like this is a little disrespectful because I think of this film as my number one. But here we go, uh, the original Halloween boys. Oh, that's Damn, a classic. That, my, Michael Myers, Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah. Far, yeah, Michael Myers is my John Carpenter slasher. Come on, man, dude, the goat. Come on, John Carpenter, get out of here. Okay, guys, uh, this movie I, I mentioned earlier. Um, so uh, let's hear it. Number six, made in 2002. Which one is it, boys? I, I hear a lot of men are scared of this movie. You know what I mean? A lot of men. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess uh, some women now, too, you know? It follows? No. <laughs> Drag me to hell? <laughs> <laughs> the, fu- the fucking ring. It's the ring. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? That is, I, yeah, yeah. That was terrifying. Yeah, Dude, yeah. Someone trying to marry you? Oh, yeah. I think that's scarier than the fucking movie. <laughs> Let a <Yeah>. fucking <laughs> bitch come out the TV. I'm sliding her. You dig? Number five, boys. Uh, this movie came out in 1974. Uh, the Shining? Cool. You, uh, you karate? Close. I mean, good guess. 
I want to say close, but good guess. No, number five is uh, one of them Texas boys, baby. Shout oh, out. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Chain- Dang it. I thought oh, that was going to be up a little bit more. Leatherface, baby. Number five? Yeah, number oh, five. No, that's, that's good. Top five. Made yeah. it 74. Uh, number four, boys. Uh, this one came out in 1980. Not real number. Uh, the Poultry Guys. Uh, this one is The Shining. Oh, yeah, man. yeah. I, I mean, was... come on, boys. Red Rum. That's my favorite. Two twins that's, out in the, in the hallway. That's my number one mo- uh, scary movie for me. Blue and white dresses. I forgot where well, we're top three right now. Right? Oh yeah. Okay. Now we're in the top three, boys. Okay. That was that was four. <laughs> yes, sir. Number three. This movie came out in 2013. Uh, don't tell me it's The Conjuring. I don't know. No, you, The Conjuring didn't come out in 2013. You karate? 2013. Yeah, that's your guess. No, I'm gonna say. Yeah, 2013, boys. 2013. I I I was a fucking uh, junior in high school, baby. Shout out. Oh, Ooh, I almost uh, said something. Is that stupid the one where they're filming with the the hand camera? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's that, that one. I know it's uh, Paranormal Clover Activity. Field. No, not Cloverfield. Oh, Paranormal, Paranormal activity? activity. You think that one's stupid? No. That scared okay. the shit out of me. I didn't mean stupid. Oh, okay, okay. That, corny, yeah, corny, I, like, corny, 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 yeah. corny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was hell yeah to see. Fuck them. yeah. The first one and the second one were uh, third one was tripped out too. Yeah. Okay, I haven't seen any of them, but I remember seeing that first one, right? Not fully, but you know what I mean. I seen enough. I'm I'm saying paranormal activity. That shit scared the shit out of me because of the story I fucking told earlier. That motherfucker's dragging you. Yeah. Fuck no. You got Demons me fucked up. Coming over and upsetting yeah. my slumber. Nails on the ground, son, from you trying to hold on. Scary. Number three, Karate. You got one for me. Man, I don't I don't know, bro. I think I'm gonna go with Conjuring as well. Okay, good. I mean, uh, All right, paranormal yeah, activity. Paranormal activity is okay, well, no, y'all both were. You, you, you gotta follow your <laughs> hearts, man. You gotta follow your hearts, man. The, the conjuring? conjuring number three. Oh man. my gosh. I, that's why I didn't want to spoil it. But yeah, man. Uh, number two, man. It, this one has a lot of meaning with family. Maybe 2018. A lot of meaning with family. Number two, scariest movie of all time, according to Rotten Tomato. Family? Yeah, man. All two guys. Uh, the Hills Have Eyes? No. Uh, Hereditary. But my technique oh, is very necessary. Hey, I hear a lot of good Wait, shit about number that one. Good. No, number two. Have, oh, okay. oh, oh, I thought it was number one. All right, kids. Here okay, and this, and this is... Uh, oh, I almost said something, but I think Steve would know if I said it. So, number one, this was made in 1973, kids. And this is considered the scariest movie of all time, according to Rotten Tomatoes. It's The Exorcist. You? You, Jar? The Exorcist. Yeah, man. Number one is uh, The Exorcist, man. People, people couldn't finish it. I tell you what, man. They had, they had the people getting walking carried. Out, right? yeah, they were yeah, getting, yeah. they were walking out, and I was getting carried out because they couldn't handle it. Yeah, I want to tell, you, I want to tell y'all two stories, two quick stories about that. So my tia Sidra, shout out, she's fucking crazy, insane, a lot of fun, good person, but an absolute fucking wrecking ball. So I remember, nothing scares her. Halloween, brother. Halloween, she dresses up, and this is why I dress up just to you know, just to make her happy. I feel like she loves seeing me dressed up as my mom does too, because I know she's gonna get jealous. My mom loves to see me dressed up, but, anyways, uh, my tia man, she used to come with this lady named Andrea, and they used to show up with like scary ass costumes, scary, and they used to try to scare my grandma, but nothing scared that fucking big bitch. May she rest. But so 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 God. they would always come in scary, you know, every Halloween, and I never expected it. I don't know why, and I would always shit my pants, boy. They would knock on the window and like wave, and so one year she had like a big ass mouth. It was just a big mouth with like eyes, and it scared the living shit out of me. And she was like screaming in the in the front lawn, and my grandma hey. my grandma was like, "What the fuck?" And then she said, he's seen her, you fucking idiot. And she started throwing rocks at her and shit. But my dear, man, she goes crazy, baby. But anyways, sorry, I got off track there. But I remember her, you know, just, you know, from that experience, her not being scared of shit. She loved Halloween. She still loves Halloween. Don't get me wrong, boys. And I just remember her saying that they all went. Well, her and like three other my tias went. And they went to go see it in the movie theaters. And they all walked out, bro. My tia said she couldn't finish it. She was scared. 
my dear man so you know that motherfucker was scary right, right. Uh, so that's that story and then the next one man i remember waking up around three in the morning Ooh, that's not a good sign <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and I, I remember doing a little stretch you know what i mean one of, <laughs> i said ah <sighs> The fan was blowing that box fan, baby. Mm. That box oh, fan. Yeah, was blowing. Was, oh, yeah. That would put you right to sleep. Oh, it was there. beautiful. The, I, we, I think we had the, the window open. We didn't even have a fucking uh, tela. I don't know how to say it in English. Tela, what do you call that, Joey? Like a the, screen. Yeah, like a little yeah, screen, yeah. right? Yeah. And so, you know, motherfuckers used to be able to, you know, reach through the window. You know, they never did. Yeah. They never did. Right. They never did because, you know, we all knew each other. But Right. Um, so I slept, man. And then I said, oh, you know, one of these. And it was usually George Lopez, but that night it was the fucking exorcist girl. She was going, ah. and I remember fucking screaming. I said, oh, shit. And my Her grandma goes, shut up. up, shut up. And then she goes, that's why you need to turn off the fucking TV. And I didn't sleep that whole day, daddy, after that, Damn. man. I was scared as shit. And I just remember her floating off the bed, bro. And I had a similar looking bed. And that's why I think I was more scared. But the devil needs curls, man. If he's gonna pick my big ass up, you gonna tie yourself to the bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just in case. Yeah, man. And that was before I was freaky. No, but listen. Um, <laughs> no, no, listen, listen. That man was ready for two. <laughs> <laughs> it was just. It was a time to be alive, brother. And I never forget that, man. And I always try to turn off my TV. I'm not trying to see, it. especially this time of year, boys. That fucking bitch is everywhere on TV, dog. Fucking scared the shit out of me, and I remember this one. Dun- uh, oh, oh, I need to be careful. This one girl always wanted to see that fucking movie, and it'd be like fucking March, and she wanted to watch that movie, and I was like, hell no, nah. that scared the shit out of me. Let's watch it. Sunday morning. Hey, let's throw on the exercise. Yeah, it's like, can we go to church and exercise these demons? Yeah. But um, nah, man, she was fucked up. But anyways. Uh, yeah, number one. I, I think I agree most for, for the most part of those yeah. movies. Uh, I'd put uh, Amityville Horror on there. Yeah, um, yeah my tia Eva loves that movie. Shout out. Um, what else, boys? Nightmare on Elm Street has to be I on there. I thought like, the That's classics like a, yeah. would be on there. Jason has sure. to be up there. Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy. Yeah. What else, boys? Uh, what's another one missing, man? Okay, um, and, uh, believe it or not, Chucky was actually pretty terrifying. Chucky was terrifying. The fucking doll? The Puppet Master? And just, like, my brother, like, I was kind of too young to see it at the time. Like, I still saw it later. Yeah. But, like, he went to the actual movie theaters and saw it. And Or, no, no, no. He rented it. He was at a buddy's house, and they rented it, and his mom didn't know about it. Oh, yeah. They were like, she was like, can we get this? She was like, yeah, throw it in. It's so cute. And, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And my mom, she would have saw that. She would be like, hell no, get this out of here. This is gonna, you're going to be annoying and scared. And yeah. Like, no. Well, they watched it, and then his his friend was like, "Man, that was crazy." Good night, and then like went to sleep. My brother was just like in his sleeping bag, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, yeah, 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 just laying there in pitch darkness, like terrified out of his mind. Just trying to reassess what's it. really. Yeah, <laughs> man, yeah. fuck that. His brother or his brother, his his friend just goes, "Good night." Turns out the light, and then he was like, at one point, he had he just had to get up, and he he calls my mom. He goes, "Can you come pick me up?" Uh, She's like, "What's wrong?" He's like. Mom, we watched the Chucky movie. She's like, dang it! She said, I she told said, you. you. Yeah, yeah, I warned you about that. Movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then she had to like call uh, his buddy's mom, be like, why'd you let them watch watch that? She was like, I didn't know. My bad. Like, yeah. I should have double checked. Right. It's like, man, like that. And the thing about it, the scary part of that movie is that like that little kid. It's like my doll's alive. It's real. And his. his you know, his parents are like, oh yeah, shut up, shut like, the right, fuck up. No one believed him. And imagine being that kid, just being like. Dude, this thing talks to me like yeah. I, right. if a kid ever told me that, I would like seeing movies and just how crazy the world is, I'd be like You gotta okay, believe it. I don't wanna I don't wanna like <laughs> knock it off. Completely yeah. say yeah. that not being for real, because what if what if it really is mm-hmm. talking to me? Right, bro. Now being older, right. that's what we gotta think about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we're smarter than our parents. Shit. And um what other one boys? The omen has to be up there. Omen, Speaking yeah. of little kids fucked up, yeah, uh, yeah. C- uh, kids of the corn or whatever, what's that fucking movie? Children, Children of the, of the corn, Crops. Friday the Thirteenth. Jason. Yeah, that has to be up there, right? Night, yeah. Night of the Living Dead. Yeah. Uh, um. Yeah, what else? Said, Don't, yeah. Yeah. Was, was Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. Even <laughs> Frankenstein back in the day. I know they're corny <laughs> now, but like Frankenstein, you know, those still hit a little bit. Oh yeah. 
Um, what else, brother? Sheesh. Uh, Get Out is a good scary yeah. movie. That's like a psychological. Yeah, kind of like, psychological. It's still scary it's as still hell. scary, brother. Right. Still like, right. White people scare the shit out of me. You white, know what I mean? I, it's white people even scare me. Rich white people. Rich white. <laughs> yeah, I'm they just go, that middle class white boy. They go, hey, what's your name? I go, shit, I don't even know. He <laughs> said, you, you, you strong? I go, yeah. He said, so come good. over here. You like tamales? I go, well, yeah. <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> we should say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of like tea, I feel like they would probably do like um, fucking maybe, what do you call that? Arroz con leche or something, right? Chata. They're just horchata. <laughs> yeah. Like fucking melon waters, you know? We got our frescas. Our, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our frescas. They go, hey, come here, Mexican. And I go, okay. <laughs> you respond well to them calling you Mexican. <laughs> come here, you okay. fucking Mexican boy. We need some yard work. And of course, I would go like a dummy, especially if the woman's hot that I'm dating, you know? Um, but yeah, be careful with rich people, man. And that's why I was hesitant to talk to this one girl because she was fucking hella rich. And then I thought, yeah, after watching fucking Get Out, I was like, they probably just wanted to cut my head open and got their own damn yard. I don't know why you would want my body, but yeah, they probably. My body. My body. <laughs> your body's burning up. And, uh, oh, Hellraiser. Speaking of burning up. That's bro, what I was trying what? to think of. Too. Jeez, boys. No, come I was on. To think of that one. Hills Have Eyes is pretty scary. 13 Ghosts. 13 Ghosts. 13 Ghosts. Come on, man. Fort, room 1408. Stop yeah. playing with me. This, this. With Samuel Jackson? But I get it. Yeah, but I get it, man. You know, they had to put, like, top 10 Jaws, That's of tough. course. Y'all kept saying Jaws. Yeah, of course Jaws is fucking top 10. Have, you, have y'all ever had a movie to where it, like, traumatized you from seeing, like, like that, that, like, one I can think of from Jaws. There's two that I'm thinking of right now. Yeah. Jaws is when that dude was getting... Smack like smack down on the boat, just eating alive, and he's like kicking at it, like trying to get away. Yeah, that messed me up. That part is hard to watch still to this day. And then there's another one, the Anaconda movie with Ice Cube. Oh fuck yeah! Damn, dude, that there was one part in that movie where it traumatized me to where I was scared to look up. Like I was scared. To oh leave. Was yeah, scared. yeah, yeah. To leave my my neck like yeah. Visible. And it's because the part where Owen Wilson's character wow. is swimming. Wow. Wow, Owen Wilson. We're on a boat wow. trying to find a snake. Wow. I wish I had where's, my jet where's ski. Where's my jet ski? Wow. <laughs> sorry, Steve. I'm sorry. <laughs> we had to do it. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's swimming in the, you know, swampy, murky water or whatever. That he's, I forgot what he's doing. It. He's, he's, doing, he's getting something. Yeah. But this bug, like, flies into his like scuba gear and down his throat and then it Sheesh. stabs it stabs through the inside of his throat mm-hmm. and he's like incapacitated for like nearly the rest of the damn movie but i remember as a little kid i was like i'm watching with my brothers yeah. and i was like what 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 happened <laughs> yeah. they're like what happened oh well yeah he got stabbed in the neck and i said what yeah and, and he like explained what i just said and like for i want to say like a month straight if I ever looked up, I would cover my neck with my hand because I was afraid Damn. my neck was going to get, like, <laughs> stabbed or some shit. Fuck yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm just a little kid, you know. I didn't know any better. Right. Yeah. I used to have, uh, from Friday the 13th, or not Friday, Nightmare on Elm Street, bro. I was tripping out on Freddy, man. Hey, that scared the shit out of me. He was making it look like he would come out of everything. So I had this little book, and it had his picture there, and I just wanted to burn the book, bro. Yeah, he was yeah. come out of the picture. Dude, yeah. yeah. It was that's, so crazy. It, he, 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 he thrives in fire. Yeah. He thrives in fire. process is a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I would have said, here you go. He goes, hello, Joey, bitch. <laughs> yeah, Joey. Why are you calling me that? <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide, bitch. It's scary, Terry. <laughs> Oh, come on, bitch. Anyway, oh, sorry, geez, sorry. <laughs> Scary Terry. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez, Joey. We, we really fucked up burning that book. <laughs> yeah, quick, quick uh, burn the book, Morty. <laughs> Before he gets up. Be on the flames. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, oh, oh jeez. <laughs> We do the next 30 minutes yeah. just doing Rick and, Rick and Morty skits. I can do it. I can totally do it. Yeah, yeah. No, there's, there was a, have y'all, I used to also be scared of like getting bit. Anything that bit, like zombies, vampires. Oh, fuck that yeah. That freaked me out as a little kid. Like my brothers too, when I would watch that stuff, I'd be like, is there a bite, you know, scene coming up? They're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't watch this part. I'd be like, okay. And I'd run out of the room. 
And then would you know, they I'd fuck with you bit. though? Yes. Oh. I go, is it over? And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, it's over. And I'd run, I'd walk back in. And as oh. soon as I walk back in, it's that person getting bit. And, go, <laughs> no! and then run back out, and they just like laugh their ass off. It was yeah. God, man, yeah. I had nightmares about that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh-huh. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just gonna be sad and explain all the terrible things that happened. <laughs> all right, let's do Rick and Morty. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, wee. You bit me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wee. Oh, wee. <laughs> you, you got me. There's a poopy butthole in a Mr. scary movie. <laughs> yeah. Imagine. Oh, wee. Freddy. He goes, where are you at, bitch? <laughs> oh, wee. Don't claw me. All right, anyways, that's enough. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, man, scary season, baby. Scary Terry, mm. uh, spooky dookies, mm. and just you know, scary movies, baby. Ooh, I like that. But um, of course, Scream has to be on there, boys. As as, as corny as Scream was, imagine that one, yeah, yeah. a ghost face outside. It's Burning iconic. All your friends. Oh, brother, it's iconic. That, what that Joey Joey do that do that one time do that one time what's he say Joey what what does Scream say <laughs> in the beginning when he calls her when he calls her Joey do it Joey <laughs> what's your favorite scary movie <laughs> <laughs> fuck I love that what's your favorite scary movie if I was in like a costume like that they know it's me. They will know it's this big ass Ronnie, motherfucker. Take that damn mask off. Yeah, boy, stop. You know you hot as hell in there. Yeah. I go, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck man. But shout out Pamela Anderson. Was she in that movie or was that a scary movie? She was that the original. She was in or? Scary Movie Three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> comedy. Who was in the fir- Who was in Scary Movie? That's, scary uh, Movie. Jer- or B- Barry, Barrymore, uh, Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she well, was the she, first one. Yeah, she was the first one that. No. Yeah. She was in it for like ten minutes. In the beginning, that was her. Beginning, that was her. Bro. Oh, shout out Drew Barrymore, and of course the Poltergeist. How's the Poltergeist yeah, not in there? I, Speaking I of Drew Barrymore, yeah. I said the Poltergeist. Yeah, but how's that not top ten, oh, Steve? Right. right? I don't know. I, it's hard. It's hard. I, I'll give them that. Okay, they did pretty good. Yeah, because who knows how they're scoring it? You know what I mean? Yeah, but I want. I I think I would take out Man Scars Guards Pennywise. It. I think yeah. I would take that out. As much as I love that Sinister yeah. Two. I take out Sinister. Yeah. Uh, Hereditary. I just hear that's I've fucking never, scary. I've never seen it. But You've never I seen it? it? I can't. It's pretty good. Like, it's scary, scary. Really? really? I heard like, like the a, last part of the movie is like the best part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a real trippy. It's this is a crazy one, bro. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna check that out, man. If I'm if I'm with company, I'll probably watch that shit. Oh yeah. Uh, y'all need to go ahead and check out. Shout out my dear Eva once again, uh, because we every year love, 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 love watching my haunted house, man. If y'all ain't seen my haunted house on A and E, y'all missing out, brother. Um, it's just so fucking sick. It's 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 about like real scary, like real stories, and um. It's just, it's entertaining, man. My favorite story is, was when this fucking guy, bro. Let me tell you, um, he was, oh no, it was a girl. Okay, she went to this, um, what do you call the yard sales, right? Just a fucking yard sale. And she fucking buys this um, portrait. And it had this random family in there. But she was like, oh, who cares? I'll just switch it out, right? And so she takes it home. And uh, I think a night or two passes. And her husband goes out to um, to work because he, he's, he works out of town, out of state, I believe. And so she he just leaves, right? And he's like, okay, baby, I'll be right back. See you next week. And so she's like, okay. And so late at night, late at night. Early in the morning or late at night. Banger. But anyways. <laughs> uh, no, so, 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 yeah. Then she wakes up in the morning cause she, she, at night because she hears like a movement or something, right? So she goes and investigates as white people usually do. And she goes, <laughs> whoa, whoa, hey, y'all. And she looks up, man. And the dude that was in the fucking uh, portrait's missing, right? No. And so now she's like dead ass scared. And this is like real events. Evidently, this is what they said, right? These are all true stories, or at least that's what they're said to be. And so then the fucking um, 
And ladies, like, okay, I'm tripping out. Maybe he wasn't in there, right? So she's like, whatever, I don't care. And she turns around and boom, right away, bro. It's him in a fucking leather jacket like he was in the fucking portrait. And he holds her to, uh, he's like grabbing her by the shoulders and shit. And she said she was like freaking the fuck out. And then finally he pushes her down the stairs and she just remembers waking up. And then she was like, I need to fucking get rid of that fucking portrait. So she takes it back to the, to the guy at the yard zone. He's like, oh, ma'am, you didn't buy it from here. And she was like, yeah, uh, yeah, I did. And then she goes, no, ma'am, you bought this or whatever. And I think it was a mirror that she really bought. And Get the hell out of Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. Damn. It was never a portrait. And by the time she got it there, and it was a mirror again. So... Yeah. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never in my fucking life have I ever gone to a yard sale again. You know, I'd rather just not have things that other people have because you never know, bro. You never fucking know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because evil spirit. Oh, brujeria. Shout out. Um, (laughs) Shout out to the Bee Gees for that one. She got brujeria. But anyways, and shout out to that girl, bro. I forget her fucking name, but her daddy's bald headed. And she does brujeria (laughs) too, man. But that's neither here nor there. And she knows who she is. <laughs> she knows who she is. I feel like she's close, man. <laughs> but like not really here with me, but kind of like a spirit. Right. And I guess like an evil presence almost she is to me. But I can sense it. yeah, yeah, I, I sense it. I feel her breathing on me, her hot ass breath. And <laughs> but, you know, that's just neither here nor there. I don't ever want to say that girl's name just because I don't want to give her publicity, you know. But her daddy is bald headed, and that's just a fucking fact. But it is. Yeah, and she knows who she is. But anyways, man, listen. <laughs> um, speaking of never making fucking mistakes and buying things that uh, belong to others, uh, don't ever get a fucking tattoo, okay, oh, of no, your significant this is, this other. Is a big jump to what we were just. Yeah, I, and I'm sorry. Spooky season. Get ready, baby. Like I said, hey, my sister's working on my costume. Shout out. Damn, you weren't lying. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I can't. I can't. I don't want to spoil it. No spoilers. No spoilers. Um, but she is working on two of my costumes. I plan on doing one in the daytime, one at night. Uh, I've always loved doing that. And so my sister is very creative. Shout out to her. Uh, I love you. I love you if you're listening, dude. And, um, you know, I, she's so good, man. She's so, um, what do you call that shit? Creative, brother. And Crafty. She really yeah, is. Yeah. She's dusty, but she is crafty. I'll give her that. And her boyfriend's fucking ugly as dog shit, but he's my guy, too. Shout out to him, man. Uh, the savior his name is the savior man and uh, he's a good kid but no yeah yeah so she's working on my costume right now Uh, all I'm gonna say is there's pool noodles involved okay there's pool noodles involved that's a clue okay and every week I want to give y'all another clue but I'm looking forward to that man she's so creative thank you Um, so yeah man I'm looking forward to that Halloween is just around the corner baby but yeah let's go back to the tattoos don't ever fucking do that don't ever get your fucking stupid uh, name on their uh, property of or no stupid shit like that because y'all are gonna that's set up for failure it really is man and it's just a big stupid mistake and don't ever get best friend tattoos either that reminds me oh dusty crusty musty ass girl did that and she don't even fucking you know what that's, <laughs> that's another, another story, story yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but anyway man don't do that man please i mean uh, boys how many times have that has that ended in a bad way that's a lot bro uh 100 percent failure yeah they have to get whole sleeves to cover off that boy. exactly you God. know they're gonna cover that bitch up in about a year right if so and I yeah i just don't know how the process of that going through your head to be like yeah, I'm going to get something permanent on my body. And then when this doesn't work out, which it will not, uh-huh. you get to look at that stupid thing on your your arm or your hand or whatever the hell where you got it. You got to turn it into a tribal tattoo after and then, that. Yeah, then you, <laughs> then you yeah. got to pay more money to get that shit covered up. More pain. That shit hurts. More pain. Right. Oh, stupid ass. But anyway. Don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. Reconsider. Read some litter. Don't try it. Um... Back to another topic, man. Uh, Fury versus Wilder. Three. 
karate. How, how, I mean, you a big fight fan, brother. And so, um, what are you looking forward to most uh, in that fight coming up on September? Uh, excuse me, on Saturday, October 9th. Man, I, you know, them some heavyweights, bro. So I'm looking for some big haymakers. I'm looking for the knockout. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm rocking with the with the gypsy side, man. I'm rocking with Fury. But uh, if Waller wins, I'm not, uh, you know, mad about that either. But uh, they've always put on some good showings in the past ones, so. Really excited for this next one. Once I saw that it was announced and that the date was set, I was ready. I was, I was living. Yeah, I think I think that's gonna be such a good fight. Uh, no more excuses. Don't wear no dumbass costume out there. Yep. You want to fight this man? Fight him straight up, brother. Yes, sir. Um, this motherfucker is ready to lick more blood off that mad dog. Yeah, I don't want to see no lame ass Jake Logan Paul. Exactly. Right. Exactly. This is real boxing for real time, you know. And I'm really looking forward to it. And that Tyson Fury, I think, is gonna win too, man. He has my my uh, my money, man, for sure. And it's some heavyweights, so you know it's gonna be some, some uh, haymakers. Slugfest, yeah. Yeah, man. Um, but it was a good fight that second one, and I think that first, you know. So I'm just really looking forward to it, man. Right. Really, sure. really, really uh, entertaining um, boxing, man. Uh, Joey, as we always do, baby, uh, uh, top 10 music, uh, top 10 new music, man. So let's check let's that go. out. Let's go. Uh, number 10 is Life Support by Young Boy Never Broke Again. Number nine is Need to Know Doja Cat. Doja Cat. And she's an ACO this weekend, I believe, she man. Is. So y'all stay safe, man. Y'all, y'all stay masked up, strapped up, and ready to attack up. And if it's up, then it's stuck. That's just how it goes. That's the rules, man. And so number eight is Montero by the Satanic Boy, Lil Nas Satan X. <laughs> Fuck that puto. <laughs> <laughs> and number seven is Fancy Like by Walker Hayes. Maybe no 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 Number five is Essence featuring Thames by the Wizkid. Love to see the Wizkid come back, man. Number four is Lonely by Da Baby. Number three is Way Too Sexy. Still number three. Golly, that song is dog water. <laughs> the more I listen to it, the more I hate it. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> number two is our guy. You know, Joey? Our guy, man. The Kid Leroy, baby. Stay. Oh. Hold you. Wrong song, but yeah. Number one Definitely is wrong song. yeah, yeah, wrong song, but same, same, but different. But different. And number one is a still satanic boy, industry baby, Lil Nas X, bro. Hate to see it. Hate to see. It. But we got some new albums out, man. Trust Fund Babies by um, who is this? Lil Wayne featuring Rich the Kid. Shout out Rich the Kid. By the time he came back, oh, when Lil Wayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan of Rich the Kid, man. I, I really do like him. I dig Rich the, Rich the Kid, too. Yeah. That's, I didn't know he was going to be with Lil Wayne and whatnot. That's right. kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I was like, what? Lil Wayne? Yeah. Um, and another album for y'all to listen to, man. Expensive, Expensive Pain by Meek Millie, if you feel me. I love Meek Mill, man. I think uh, he got straight bars, baby. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, he got a song Ride For You featuring Kalani. Y'all got to listen to that. Banger? Yeah, 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 man. I really love Kalani. Yeah, Kalani, hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, another one y'all got to look out for is Sharing Locations featuring Lil Derek and Lil Baby. Oh, that's a banger. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. I'll on that one. The beat yeah. is, you know, being a producer, that beat is hard. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, you know, I'm just really looking forward to anything else that Meek Mill puts out, man. I, I fuck with him heavy, heavy, heavy. Um and uh, expense, expensive pain. I didn't hear that song. Did you hear it, Joey? No, I haven't heard that one, bro. But I heard the other one uh, with uh, him and Lil Durk. And you love that one. Yeah, that one. Ooh, me FWM. I have not heard that, but that boy ASAP. ASAP Ferg is in there. ASAP Ferg. Who? 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 I'm on a new level. <laughs> I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. <laughs> Anyways, I'm really looking forward to hearing that song, bro. And that girl's dad is still bald headed. If we, if you're keeping track, <laughs> if you're keeping track, if you're keeping track, and angels featuring Lil Snoop. 
Oh, what's the song? Uh, and, and I do it like I'm mellow. And now I'm in the crib and I shoot it like I'm mellow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shout out Lil Snoop, man. And uh, another Satanist, uh, uh, Blue Notes 2 feature Lil Uzi Bird. Shit, I ain't even know they about to turn that out here. Yeah, like, man. Little, is Lil Uzi Bird the one to get that diamond ripped out yeah, of the he, damn yeah, boy? Yeah, he's head. Black Vision. He's Black Vision. Golly. That's what they call him. Uh, blish, blizzion. They call him Blizzion. <laughs> I call him dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> A shout out. Golly. And man, I mean, what else do we have to talk about, boys? I'm looking through my notes here, baby. And oh, man. Okay, so the what if, right? Uh, we were talking about that earlier, and I forgot to bring this up, and I apologize to the fans. Listen to me. I'm sorry. But y'all got to check out Just Imagine series. Uh, there's 13 fucking comics. And this is from uh, Stan Lee's time in D.C., man. After Marvel was about to file for bankruptcy, man. Y'all got to check that shit out. He does, um, I believe her name is Maria Mendoza. And he does an interpretation of Wonder Woman, right? So he's his Wonder Woman. Uh, or her she is his Wonder Woman and then he does the flash but as a woman and then what what is this again um uh Can just imagine just imagine yeah Y'all gotta go look that up, man. Look it up on uh, Amazon uh, Books. I think they got that shit so you can listen to it, man. I highly fucking suggest it, dog. And uh, there's like a, a black Batman, and um, it's just fucking badass. I, I, I was I was learning more about it today, and y'all need to check that shit out. Again, that's Just Imagine by uh, Stan Lee and his time in D.C., man. So that's very cool. I never even knew about that. In DC, I didn't know about that. Yeah, either. they that's cool. they do trade like back and forth with like Marvel writers and mm, DC cool. writers. Like mm-hmm. sometimes DC will go to Marvel and do stuff, and but I, I Steve or Stan Lee, Lee. Doing just imagine, yeah, yeah man, yeah. that's kind of cool. I did not know. Yeah, that. and I was listening to the to to it a little bit, and I, I'm really really fucking with it heavy. And uh, Robin, no spoiler, no spoiler, but Robin's in there. Uh, the Green Lantern's in there. Um, so y'all go check that out, man. I mean, it's just his his rendition on it, and I really loved it. I really fucked with it heavy, and I think I've lasted more than your baby mom, uh, baby daddies, and um, I stuck around for a long time here with y'all today, and I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, as always, man, thank you, uh, Broken Color for my entrance music, uh, Karate for everything you do for me. Thank you, brother. Uh, ben man Even though he's uh, Oh he got his ears Pierced the other day Man he wants to be like me You know He's my, <laughs> he's my son man. Benny what you doing man Benny baby You're so cute baby I want to hold you uh, And uh, It's just really cute man But he looks good man He looks good in the, in the earrings And hopefully No I never mind I ain't gonna do him like that But anyways He needs to come see us More often man. Hell yeah Yeah And um, Karate anything You want to say Anything you want to plug Brother anything Man, just uh, once again saying shout out for everybody taking the time to listen out to us and uh, hope you're enjoying the podcast and all that kind of good stuff, man. We're going to do what we can to keep bringing them to y'all. Absolutely. Sure. Thank you, Karate. It's been an amazing time with these amazing people all the time sitting down here, and I love it, and I can't wait to keep the ball rolling. Yes, sir, baby. God willing. Freaking love y'all. Uh, Steve-O, how you feeling today, baby? Good, man. I'm excited to be back on this podcast, and I I like to keep hanging out with y'all. Y'all allow me to, and been fun man i hope everyone's having a good october so far yes spooky season and uh joey do me one favor brother and take us out